Now let's try adding some sorting to our products. In this example, what we'll do is we'll sort all of our products alphabetically by the product name. And we could easily do that by adding some configurations to the entity adapter. The adapter is a method that takes in a object with two properties. And the two properties, if you right click on the entity adapter interface, go to the definition, is the select ID, and we'll also be checking that out in this video, and then also the sort compare. By default, it's set to false, but we'll be setting a function or creating a function and pass that in instead. Let's go ahead and set that. If we go back to here, and the first property we'll use is the sort compare, and we'll create a new function for sorting our entities alphabetically. So I'll add that right here. So this is a function that's gonna sort all of our products by the name alphabetically. And now we can use that here. So I'll just add that here. And then now if we check it out in the browser, we should see all of our products sorted alphabetically. And now all of our products are being sorted alphabetically. And that's one way you can sort all your entities is by using that sort compare property. Now let's check out the select ID property. The select ID property also takes a method and we'll set that up right above the adapter. And this is totally optional if you already have a primary key called ID. And in this case we do, but for now we'll change this ID to product ID so I could just show you this example. So if we go to the product interface and here we already have a primary key called ID. So that's why we don't need to set this up but I'm going to temporarily change it to product ID. And that will be a string. Save this. And then that should get rid of the error right here. So we don't have a primary key called ID. So we're, we need to set up this method and we're going to return our primary ID. And that is the product ID in this case. And then we'll set that here. So the selected product ID. And that's how you set up your primary ID if your primary ID is called something different. I'm going to comment this out and push this up to GitHub so people have this as a reference. Also, just to clean this up, I'm going to move all of this to the bottom of the page. So add this down here. And then we'll just clean this up and we can remove this or just comment this out. I'll leave it there for now and get rid of the space here. And that's how you set up your primary key if your key is named something different than ID. So I'll make sure I save this file and then I'll undo the changes I made to the product TS file. Now in the next video, let's select a entity from our store by its ID.